Dow Jones after trading bullish for weeks has certainly reversed last week but it has still failed to breach past 33400 which is certainly be a very strong support so now what to expect next week when the Fed's interest rate hike decision and the inflation data are going to be the driving factors are we going to remain short or is it going to reverse again which position we should take in order to profit everything we going to see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit so do like share subscribe and can do press the bell icon the daily analysis will definitely keep you trading profitable and the daily targets will definitely make you become profitable and proficient so do watch the daily analysis as well in fact i share twice a day once with the asia session next with the us cash session now let's have a look at the charts first and yes towards the end of this analysis i'll give you the trading levels first let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts you'll find see this is the bullish channel in which it was trading this is showing you a little breakout however look at the last few candles this is a very clear indication 33400 levels are certainly providing it a very very strong support on the downside and you can also see increasing bullishness at the same time the bears are not trying to take the charge so this is an expanding triangle till the time it trades about 33400 there is a possibility of a reversal but at the same time you can see it has shown a reversal here and it is respected the previous lows it indicates that it may try to potentially rise again and this time the rise could be very very strong this is one part to it at the same time if you look at the near term charts it is trying to trade in this bearish channel and then you should be watchful of 33200 and 33000 levels so yes even if it breaks 33400 till 33200 and 33000 we have to uh, remain a little bit alert as it can bounce any back any point of time it can bounce back any point of time and hence you should remain watchful now this is on the daily charts let's have a look at the week now on the weekly charts see the high lows retracement then the sharp drop lower lows retracement and can you see the similarity here reversal reversal red candle red candle so is it the reversal from here and we are looking forward to a drop or there is a potential for rise let's have a further detail look see these three two highs here you can find out there is a little potential for it to rise till towards 35000 levels which is going to be a very very strong resistance on the upside and potentially uh, achievable levels also at the same time now see first thing is yes this time it failed to breach past 33 Four hundred levels, which is a very strong support level, and if it trades below this, still thirty-three thousand are going to come into rescue for this, and potential bounce back from here can be seen. Hence, this is the second part of it. Now, look at the pattern: rise retracement, higher highs, higher lows. So yes, even if it tries to drop thirty thousand levels, should probably can be seen if it continues to trade bearish from here. so this is second part of it to look at it now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly on the monthly chart the previous two candles certainly were extremely bullish the support here at 33000 levels is going to be there multiple candles we have seen it getting the support from there now see this previous candle also had a tail this candle has open flat and it is all also done with the tail out there potential for it to give you third green candle exists which might take it for 35000 35500 levels for the highest of the month and from there the next month onwards potentially it can try to reverse the direction again there is a chance which exists on the same side if it draws below 33000 certainly more bearishness will pull in and then we can look forward to 32500 32000 and in fact then it will try to achieve lower lows somewhere here at around 31500 in the month of december itself so let's be a little bit observant and try to find out what are the indicators are speaking and if are if they all are in the same direction or we have something different there now look at the daily chart the 20 50 100 period moving average the 50 period moving average the 20 period moving average rather is situated at around 34000 which is a very good resistance level and if you look at the directional movement this is bearish and trying to converge the stock iastic has seen the bottom here perfectly it appears that the stage is set for a set for a good rise and if you look at the macd this is divergent this is bearish appears that it has seen the peak probability for it to converge from here exists the rsi is looking downwards so so most of the indicators are indicating bearishness here on the daily chart however once it shows the bearishness there is a potential for the 
reversal it always increases and hence one should remain cautious now look at the weekly chart the 100 period moving average is giving it a support at 33 400 very strong support below that 33000 and below that a strong drop till towards 32000 levels cannot be denied the directional movement is bullish trying to convert the stock stochastic is overbought and now looking downwards potentially this candle the next when it starts certainly we may see the stock stochastic cooling down a bit the MACD is trying to converge here and it is it is bullish so far that is one observation the RSI is also looking downwards so most indicators are indicating or looking downwards so far now look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts you will find that the 20 months average is situated at around 33600 levels and then the downside support at around 30,000 levels very far the stock stochastic is entering into overbought levels yes it can sustain this the MACD is trying to converge cross over the for the bullish move then the RSI is looking downwards so we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators and time for us to define the strategy and levels for next week and yes if you just stick and abide to the levels definitely you can profit so first thing next week if you see it trading above 33,510 you can buy expect 33,600 as the next resistance and then beyond that we can expect 33,800 34,000 levels to be seen now 34,000 only and only if it trades above 34,000 you can stay long and then I will look forward to 34,500 directly which is the next strongest resistance zone beyond that it is going to look forward to 35,000 35,500 levels at the monthly targets so first thing is for sure that only and only if it trades above 34,500 confirm this for a bullish reversal and then 35,500 levels can be seen in the month of December at the same time on the upside these are going to be a very good resistance level 33,800 and 34,000 levels sustaining any of these levels certainly will increase the probability for it to continue with the bullish momentum that is one way to look at it at the same time on the downside I will only recommend you to sell at 33,350 because below that certainly it is looking forward to 33,200 and then 33,000 levels now this is the first and strongest support levels on the downside once it breaks below 33,000 you can say that probably we are looking forward to 32,740 and then 32,600 below that 32,400 levels to be seen and below that a good break will take it till towards 32k in the month of December hence take your positions accordingly but trade with Caution trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss as the markets might remain choppy in the month of December. Specifically for next week, we may see a little more volatility and hence you have to keep closing your trades at every profits and keep re-entering if you see it in the same direction or trade with a stop loss or trade with a trailing stop loss. Trade accordingly, trade profitably. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.